Uh, e5 is a possible move. Another alternative is queen c8, although I have to say it looks rather passive. So e5 is the most principled answer. And uh, rook a8 is one of the options that I've considered. And uh, yeah, I've looked at this position during my home analysis. Somehow I really like the bishop on h4. It's a, uh, it's a fearless piece, because you would think that it's going to get trapped. But before he gets trapped, he gets a chance to uh, change things in the game. And uh, I thought that in my home analysis, I didn't pay much attention to the to the h6. I looked at it, but I thought uh, it's not a move of a high quality. But uh, it's one of the one of the possible moves. Uh, this position is very complicated. I'm sorry. Can we uh, can Blake uh, play e4 before h? F4. Yeah. Yes, he, he can, and uh, my plan is to play queen d3. See, now after h6, I get the option to play bishop e7. Therefore, uh, and if he plays queen d6, knight d2 is always handy, because the knight jumps into c4. Okay, thank you. Yes. Uh, I think... A normal option would be knight f6, takes, takes. It might be slightly better for white, or, I mean, close to equality, but maybe more pleasant for white to play it. Uh, and after this, yes, I, I thought the e f is the right move, because he's already threat threatening to play f4. And now uh, I don't think e4 is possible. That's that's an important point, I think, that because I have d6 and in all of the cases I have the idea with knight g5 somewhere and then the queen comes from h3 so this can never work and uh, rook, rook d1 I think here as well it's uh, the black's uh, king's position is too uh, weak so he cannot afford to allow me to play d6 and bishop c4 Therefore, those moves I, I was considering to be more or less forced. Th there was a possibility to play bishop takes d5. I considered this to be extremely risky for black, but I didn't see a direct refutation. But I have had the feeling that there has to be one in order to meet with queen e4. Oh, uh, I mean, uh, of course I can take on e8, and then I have an active position, but I was looking for more, and maybe there is more, I just, uh, I didn't pay attention to to look into that, because I thought that bishop d5 is not the move anybody would play uh, in this position, because it looks too too risky. Uh, it, it actually looks like it should be losing in be after some one mover. So, anyway, he played this queen g3. Think he has to take, and uh, there are some other options. But I as well thought that bishop f6 is the right move because if he plays knight f6, then after c4, it's rather passive for black. I mean. I have a clear Grunfeld kind of play, rook b3, rook a3, or a4, a5, and uh, he didn't manage yet to, to get his counterplay here. So this I thought is kind of forced. Uh, of course I didn't have to go for, for the take on d7, but I thought it's the most natural way to play, so the pawn is weak, I'm, I'm going to exchange it with f3 somewhere, and. It's just a slightly better position. I have to admit I I didn't pay much attention to rook g4 idea, so maybe it was more cautious to play rook one here. Anyway, I I think that it's still I, I haven't lost my advantage here. And after rook e4, rook a3, 
After a5 I was planning to play rook e3. Takes takes e4 knight e5. <laughs> because the move has moved uh, the, the, the pawn has moved from a7. Now in case black tries to play uh sorry. Rook d6. I have uh, a neat trick, knight c6. So I was considering this, I wasn't sure what's happening or but uh, I had the feeling that this should be good for white. Maybe maybe I should uh, wait, because for the moment uh, black cannot play king f6, because I take on b6. Mm. And uh, here, now I'm just threatening to play rook b2, knight d2, rook b1, and attack. So a6 was, was not a good move, and b5 is even worse, I think. Because after rook b2, it's lost for black. If he plays b4, then I play knight d2, and knight from b3 is capturing the pawn. So yeah, the rest is uh, not not important anymore. Uh, thank you very much, Leon. Please, it's time to question now. Congratulations on your Thank you. I have a question from the chess.com viewers who sent it in. Uh, when you were first starting out as a, as a young kid, you worked with one of our coaches, Melik Kachian, and uh, our viewers were wondering, uh, could you tell us something uh, something important he taught you that, that, that remains with you? Um, I think uh, many of uh, uh, you know, things that I know are thanks to my first trainer and uh, his uh, attention to studies and to the classics. I think that was very important and uh, it, my good sides and my bad sides actually belong to Milik <laughs> in the game of chess. Thanks. Another question? Thank you very much, everyone. Thanks.